are in so much shit, boys, but we'll deal with you in a minute. Is everyone else well? Yeah. People at the back, are we well? Yeah. Latecomers at the front, are you well? Yeah. You're going to suffer as well, so don't worry. Um, that's fine. Just, um, if you've been to this gig before, just give me a cheer. Yeah. If you've never been, just raise your hands. Oh, quite a few. So, um, for those of you who've not been, um, basically, it's a bit of a tradition. Um, what we've done over the past three years is all the newcomers, just one by one, you just get up, say hello to the rest of the group. Um, so, I don't mind where we start. Man there, you're looking at me. Dark, swarthy. Mediterranean looking man now looking away. <laughs> Did you put your hand up to say you were new? It doesn't make any fucking difference. <laughs> to be honest, no, you're fine. Um, and oh, guy, guys here, where, where have you been? Tonight? Somewhere over there. Somewhere over there. You haven't at all because we watched you come in, so we'll try that again. <laughs> Do your best. Where have you come from this evening? He's a forester! Oh, that's... <laughs> Is everybody from Gloucester just out of interest? Have we got... Oh, no, listen to that! Have we got anybody from that place we don't really like to mention? Not Stonehenge, no. Cheltenham, have we got any child... That's nice, isn't it? And are you, uh, uh, is this like the forest group, or is it just just the chosen few? Come on, give us a high end, that'd be nice. Just the one. So, um, listen, if you've not been to this gig before, uh, just to run through what's going to happen, we've got three fantastic acts for you. Um, we'll have your first act on, and there'll be an interval of about 20 minutes, during which time you get a drink, then your second act, then another interval, and then your headline act, and then you can all go back to the forest and um, shag each other, basically. <laughs> we'll deal with you in a minute as Mr. Wayne's World as well, because you put your baseball cap on the right way around this time, which was completely different from when you came in, wasn't it? You had it back to front, and yeah. Did you come by taxi, or was your fucking skateboard outside? Is it just... <laughs> How old are you? 33. 33. <laughs> You're a bloody disgrace. <laughs> 33. So, table at the back. Lovely lady in the sparkly dress and tartan bit. You look a bit like reincarnation of... Actually, it took me back to the 70s. I couldn't make up my mind whether you were Gary Glitter and the Bay City Rollers combined as one. No, it's alright to say Gary Glitter because back in the day he was a national treasure. Obviously, we know different now. Um, <laughs> When you first came in, you lot, you, you were sitting up here, weren't you? You came and sat in the chairs, and then I think the young lad made the decision to, no, let's go and sit in the back, because it'll be far safer. How wrong you were, but thanks for coming. And then table in front, I think you came in, oh, you came in really early, didn't you? About 6.30, so you're probably absolutely off your tits by now, and you've been just knocking it back, and you made a beeline for there, and you've been on the run since about 6.40, haven't you? And you couldn't make up your mind whether to have rum and coke or rum and lemonade, but it's just been rum all the way, which is fine. And then people in the corner, and um, the lovely lady, over there, I just went to put the lights on and she said, you smell really nice. If only you weren't so short and ginger, I could go for you, which I thought that was quite harsh. And then people here, ladies, you were a little bit late, but not too bad. And you looked a little bit horrified when there weren't many seats, but you're all right there, aren't you? And then this lovely gentleman here in his country and western shirt is um, your first night of comedy. Yeah, I'm singing later. You're singing, you fucking aren't. <laughs> I can assure you that's not going to happen. You're more than welcome. And then this sort of row here, you are, oh, you did a lovely little, I don't know what it was actually, trying to get to your seat because obviously you're of a build where there's not enough room and you sort of shimmied like this, didn't you? Down to sit down. 
that. You, you still got your coat. You haven't got a clue what's going on at you, to be honest. No. But you're fine. And then, gentlemen here, you've got your Christmas waistcoat on next. Is this your... I don't know what you're laughing. You're going to get it next. So, um, you look really festive. And, and you've got... Is that your new Christmas party outfit? That looks really nice. And then, this row here, at half seven... Try and keep awake because at half seven you were yawning your head off, weren't you? Is this your dad? Yeah. Half seven he was yawning his head off, wasn't he? Is it going to be a long night for you? Yeah. Has, have you lost the power of speech already? Do your best. What does that mean? Pressing your ear. You press your ear and you start talking. Is that how it's going to go? That's nice. And then... Where's, oh yes, there's a funny, I missed this little group here because there's like a couple here with this man sticking his head down and then who's the, who's the old chap on the end? Boy, shut up now, you late because your turn will come. That's granddad, is it? Oh, so you've, so you've come along, what, as a chaperone tonight? Make sure they get home and then are you going to go somewhere else? And then they're going to shag each other so actually... You've been here has made no difference whatsoever, has it really? He's very embarrassed now because he knows that's what's going to happen. But to be honest, the rate you've been knocking those pints back, I think you're going to be very disappointed. And then you've managed to upset the two ladies on the end because they haven't got a clue what Wayne's World is about. And I was quite... Oh, oh, it was him, was it? What do you mean, don't look at me, I know what it is? You didn't earlier on because you turned to her and said, do you know what, no, shut up, I'm talking, you'll have a turn in a minute. You're not at home now, I'm not your fucking husband. And unless you've noticed I've got a microphone and this makes me very much louder than you'll ever be. So you turned to your lovely friend and said, do you know what, Wayne's world? She says, oh, I haven't got a clue, but Jesus Christ. Jesus, doesn't he look stupid? Isn't that what you said? No, you didn't. That's, that's absolutely right. And then, front row, so you came in, you came in quite late, didn't you, really? Forced to sit. Look at you, sat with your legs apart like that, thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what have you got there? Oh, thank God it's an inhaler, is it? I mean, oh, <laughs> You look very excited all of a sudden. It? So have you been have you been somewhere before you arrived here? Yeah. It's a work do, is it? This row and that and who do you work for currently? It's your work and who do you work for? Right, you might find you might find the questions get a little bit harder. You don't know who you work for, but you've been out on a work do. So you've just found these people running round town and thought, I'll tag along, they look alright, I might be safe with them. He's going to come and sit like a fucking frog in the front row. But everything will be alright. Yeah, put your let your conscience. Fuck it. No, it's Christmas, isn't it? You sit how you want. Is that how you sit at the dinner table? It's your birthday Christmas Eve. You look... All right, Wayne, calm down. <laughs> Is that the first time you've ever experienced somebody having a birthday? And you just... Do you know Wayne? I'm going to call you Wayne, because... I can't be fucking all bothered to find out your real name, to be quite honest. So, how old are you going to be on your birthday? Uh, 34. Oh, you've had a hard paper round, haven't you? Um, and do you get... Birthday presents as well as Christmas presents. We usually get a combined present usually. That was quite hard to yeah. say then, wasn't it? <laughs> what time did you start drinking today? About three o'clock? <laughs> yeah, yeah, You're doing well! <laughs> and are you going on somewhere afterwards? Soon? Um, <laughs> Probably not. Are you going to take him home and do the same as... <laughs> and is this your chaperone? Yeah. Or are you just going to join in? Yeah. <laughs> He's perked up all of a sudden. <laughs> so, um, boys. Is this, is this the Rob Lee group? Where's Rob? Rob Lee! Rob Lee! Rob Lee! 
Yeah, now, the thing is, um, I've been told, and it's quite appropriate that you arrive fucking late, <laughs> because you work for the AA, is that correct? Yeah. 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 Do you all work for the AA? Yeah. All of you? Everyone. Good. So, you would have thought, you would have thought within a group like this, you're uh, you're pretty what knowledgeable of the AA and like everything that goes with it. So, what I've done just for you, Rob, is um, we've got a little quiz, right? For every question you get right, Rob, I'll buy you a drink. For every question you can collaborate. For every question you get wrong, you got to buy me a beer. How does that sound? <laughs> That's my AA membership, cancel them for the next year. So, well, here we go. When was the A? Yes, it is laminated, well spotted. When was the AA formed? 1905. When? 1905. It's a two part question. And <laughs> at which London restaurant? Oh, here's a drink coming up. Too late. <laughs> How many, Rob, how many members were there in 1914? Oh, yes! 83,000, that's two pints. This one, I'm sure you guys will get this. How many grade two listed boxes are there in the whole of the UK? Oh, two said 12! Wrong. There's 19. Two part question, though you could redeem yourself. Where's the nearest one to us? Well, well done, that man. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not quite good enough. <laughs> Whereabouts in Wales? <laughs> where? Near <laughs> I have no idea what you said then, but we'll say. <laughs> what is the most common problem you guys have to experience? No beds. <laughs> yeah. Just look around that fucking group, you must experience that every single day. No pets! So just bearing in mind, you've got an audience of probably 80 other people who've probably all got cars and could possibly be booking their roadside assistance with the AA. I wouldn't, it wouldn't be so bad, but I know you work for the marketing department, don't you? Which is like... And Rob, who, who put you up to this tonight, or who put me up to this tonight, do you know? I did. No, you didn't. It was your lovely wife who came to the gig in November. Ah, did she? Oh. And she said, stitch that bastard up. <laughs> so no, it's nice of you to fucking finally turn up, boys. Um, so I think what we'll do now is, are you ready for your first act of the evening? Yeah. So, um, on, the, on the command go, if you could start the applause at the back of the room, bring it all the way through as a welcome to the stage, um, your first act. I'll tell you his name now, his name is Ola, okay, so, um, ladies at the back, if you could start the clapping, yes, that's it, start the clapping, bring it all the way back, hey, hey men, start the clapping right the way through, new person in the corner, Wayne, Mr. Fox, start it as we welcome to the stage, a very lovely Ola! Good evening. Good evening. 